you're so perfect like I know when I don't know like I deserve the shit that you put me through Hey you guys, Erin and Dusty here and welcome back to Eat Move Rest. So today we are kind of biting off more than we can chew, literally. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> we are plunging into the world of meal prep. <laughs> right, so this is something that Erin and I haven't really done thus far. We typically have had the time to just cook what we want to cook, when we want to cook it, but with the arrival of Max, the last few months have been a little hectic, and food prep is something we are seriously thinking about. Especially because we are on the vegans train, right. lifting hard in our home gym. Yep. We're gonna start sharing more move videos, more exercise videos with you guys, so you can look forward to that. Yes. That being said, we've gotta have our meals dialed in, and part of that is prepping, so we know that when we're hungry and we're craving something, we've got exactly what we need. These are protein packed, iron rich, calorie dense, and they are fiberful. <laughs> right, and obviously delicious. So these are gonna be easy recipes. We're gonna show you how to store them for four days worth of food. And yeah, we're gonna go for it. Okay, so we are going to be providing you guys with, like Dusty said, four days worth of meals, a yes. breakfast, a lunch, and a dinner. Right. For breakfast, we're gonna be bringing you a variation of one of our very favorite protein-packed lean green smoothies. <laughs> For lunch, we're going to be making one of our favorites, we've been doing this a lot lately, a Mexican style quinoa mango salad. And I love, love this one because yeah. if you are on the raw till four style eating <laughs> plan, kind of like we are, yep. mostly me, but you need a little bit something else added to all of your raw veggie goodness, yep. then there is some quinoa that you can add in there and some black beans. Yes. So, for dinner time, another one of our favorites, you guys know we love our Indian cuisine. We have got a chickpea chana masala yep. on top of sweet potatoes with a side of cauliflower. Yes, so again, these are gonna stay in the fridge for four days, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Super simple, let's get into it. Okay, so breakfast format is going to be a little bit different than lunch and dinner because it's not going to be the entirely prepared smoothie ready in the refrigerator for the next four days. Instead, what we're going to do is we're gonna have four large Ziploc baggies, and yes, you can rinse and reuse these over and over again. So what we're gonna do is grab all of our fresh ingredients, pack them away in these four Ziplocs, and store them away in the freezer. Then each morning, all you have to do is go grab your Ziploc and empty the contents into your blender, and voila, you are out the door. So nothing fancy here, folks. I literally just went to the cupboards and to the refrigerator and grabbed everything out. We're just gonna tear up our kale, go through everything, cram it into these bags, and get on with lunch and dinner. So, this is what you're gonna need for your lean green protein smoothie recipe. For your breakfast, you will need two frozen ripe freckled bananas, one cup of pineapple and or mango chunks, two large leaves of kale torn up, one small chunk of ginger and turmeric, or you can use turmeric powder, one tablespoon of a green powder of your choice. We love our Barley Grass Juice Powder by Daily Green Boost. It is our favorite. You will also need one tablespoon of chia and or flax seeds, and a half scoop of plant protein powder. This is optional, but we absolutely love our Sun Warrior Vanilla Warrior Blend. This stuff is incredible. We've talked about it several times. We've got it linked below. If you guys are interested in it, we do have a discount code. You can use the discount Eat Move Rest for 20% off. It's fantastic. It tastes great. We just use a half scoop per serving and usually have one or two smoothies a day depending on how active we are. We've found that it makes our smoothies taste so much better and gives us that little extra amp for our workouts. <laughs> Quick side note, so I have included all of the fresh ingredients in the Ziploc and so that the powders don't stick, we usually just add our protein and our green boost after we dump the contents of the freezer bag into the blender. So quick and simple, all you have to do in the morning is add your powders. Okay guys, so we are cooking up a batch of quinoa. 
and just rinse a can of beans. So regardless of whether or not we're making this recipe, we always have a grain and or a bean in a big Tupperware in the fridge that we can just scoop to add on salads or whatever it may be. So for this recipe, we are in fact using both of these and we're just gonna throw them all in the pot with whatever veggies we have. We have a sauteed red onion here, chop them up, throw them in the bowl. And if you guys want the full details on this recipe, we actually just did this one in one of our past videos. We will link it below. So like Dusty said, after you have your grains and your beans prepped, then the rest of it just boils down to whatever fresh whole raw veggies and maybe fruits you have on hand. So this goes great with either pineapple or mango added in for a sweet taste. So I'm just adding some finishing touches to our tropical mango quinoa salad. So I've got some fresh cilantro and plenty of fresh squeezed lime. And then just a little bit of salt and pepper to taste can go a long way. Trust me on that. The fruit will add plenty of flavor as it is, whether you choose mango or pineapple. On top of that, if you want it to have a little bit more of a zesty Mexican flair, you can also add cumin or cayenne or maybe a little dash of paprika. So now let's start to actually piece together our lunch meals and pop them in the refrigerator. We're gonna do our mango quinoa salad with a side of fresh berries and a lime wedge. And then for our healthy fats, let me tell you, avocados are not easy when it comes to meal prep because we all know what happens. As soon as you slice it, you've gotta eat it or it's gonna turn brown and really gross. So what we're gonna do instead is just recommend that you bring an avocado with you along with your meal. And this is something cool that we actually grabbed on Amazon. This is an avocado keeper. Or if you just wanna forego the avocado and choose another healthy fat, you could top your salad with some hemp seeds or pumpkin seeds or walnuts. Any kind of nut or seed is going to give you plenty of those healthy fats. All right, so we're gonna take about one to one and a half cups worth of quinoa salad and put it in each of our totes. And you can see we have got an abundance of this salad. So while we are doing this meal prep for one, you could easily do this meal for two. And with the smoothie recipe, you would just probably want to double it for two. Alrighty, so putting the finishing touches on, getting our lunches all stacked. This is awesome, you guys. I am super pumped. Okay guys, now while Aaron is finishing up the lunch, I'm going to get dinner started. I'm chopping some cauliflower that I'm gonna steam. And we've got some red lentils cooking here that are gonna go in our little chana masala dish with some chickpeas that again we've had in the fridge for a couple of days so we like to rinse and soak our beans that's the best and healthiest way to do it we did these a couple of days ago we are going to add these in to our lentils for dinner so let's see add most of those in and then we're going to add our red sauce and some spices meanwhile our potatoes just finished in the instant pot we are adding in our last two ingredients our green peas and our tomato puree. So with the lentils and this tomato puree, it's gonna make a nice, kind of a nice thick Indian sauce like we mentioned. And then I'm gonna add another one of our Fresh Jack's favorites, turmeric yellow curry. We're just gonna add that in, stir it in, warm it up, and we're good to go. If you guys don't have Fresh Jack's and you just wanna do something simple, I would just do some turmeric and some yellow curry. You can also do some red curry paste. It's kind of up to you, but the easiest thing is gonna be salt, pepper, and curry powder. So for our healthy fat that we're incorporating at dinner time, I'm going to be making a cashew curry sauce. So this recipe is basically the same as our vegan cashew cheese sauce. I will link that below in the description. That being said, we are going to make this one a little bit more of an ethnic Asian flavor. So we're going to put our one cup of soaked rinsed cashews into our blender cup. A healthy amount of nutritional yeast. This is super high in B vitamins and super high in protein. And then to give it our Indian Thai Asian flair, we've got a Thai spice also by Fresh Jacks. If you don't have this, again, curry powder will do the trick. I'm gonna add a little bit of liquid so this can blend up really nice.
We set aside a little bit of our chickpea chana masala for Mr. Max. So one important tip is if you're going to be doing meal prep for babies, you don't necessarily have to make something crazy different. Just give them a little bit of whatever you're eating and make sure that it's salt free because their little kidneys aren't quite ready for salt. And it can also be a great way to try and reduce the amount of sodium in your own diet. So that being said, we do have a baby led weaning and baby's first bite video coming. So if you guys are interested in that, if you want us to do more kid friendly, baby friendly recipes, let us know in the comments below. Last step, we're gonna piece together our dinner pop them in the refrigerator and we'll show you guys what we came out with. We're gonna place one sweet potato in each of our containers. A healthy scoop of our chickpea masala to each dish. We're gonna add in some steamed cauliflower to the side. You can also use steamed broccoli if you like. Last but not least, we are going to drizzle our cashew curry sauce on top of each dish. Alrighty, so our final meal is ready to go in the refrigerator. Meals prepped and packed for the next four days. That feels awesome. And you might be wondering about dessert. So at the end of a long day, this is my avocado key lime pie recipe. It is all completely raw, vegan, and so delicious. So you make a whole bunch of these in your little cupcake molds, and then you pop them in the freezer and they will last several weeks in there. So meal prep for dessert, done. These are on the blog, so I will link that recipe below. Okay guys, pretend it's the next day. This actually has been in the freezer now for a couple hours while we've been doing the rest of the video. We wanna show you how easy it actually is to prep breakfast, grab lunch and dinner, and take them with you on the go. You might not take dinner with you, if, especially if you're coming home, but we wanna show you how easy it could be. So, grab your smoothie bag. This is especially helpful on mornings when Aaron is busy with Max and I'm in charge of smoothies. So you guys, we're gonna add about a cup of water to this, maybe two, depending on how thick you like your smoothie, and then we're gonna add our powders and blend. Hypothetical morning, smoothies ready to go. We always have the fresh fruit, our weapons of mass nutrition. I got my lunch and a dinner. Here we go. All ready for the day. Seriously, seriously, we should have been doing this like for so long. This is gonna be great. All right, you guys, so whether you're like dusty and you're on the go and you might be gone for breakfast, lunch, and dinner some days, or you're like me and you're a mom who's got her hands full, these fully prepped meals are going to be a lifesaver. Got my green smoothie, lid intact so Mr. Max doesn't grab it and spill it, along with an apple and a banana usually going along with breakfast. We've got our delicious mango quinoa salad with berries and half an avocado and our chickpea masala with cashew curry sauce and a side of cauliflower. So if you guys liked this video, if you want to see more like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, join us here at the Eat Move Rest fam. And as always, leave us some love in the comments below. Follow Dusty and I daily on Instagram at Aaron Stanzik and at DB Stanzik. All right, you guys, it's time to eat. It's been a long day and we are ready to play, aren't we, bud? <laughs> Good afternoon, you guys. We are in the boathouse. You guys know that we have an Airbnb. So today is prep day for the weekend, and guess what? We brought our... Our food prep. Our food prep. So, we've got... Little Max is over there hanging out. I will say... And Bo. We are big eaters, so this is kind of a small portion, especially if you're highly active. You might want to have two of these per person, but we've got our mango quinoa and our berries. Brought out an avocado and a lime and some romaine to have with it. Super easy. This morning was so easy. Usually I'm freaking out about what to bring when we come out here, but just grabbed it and left. Amen, let's eat.